The head of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is visiting two Nebraska nuclear plants near Omaha, threatened by the flooding Missouri River. The Cooper plant is surrounded by water but is functioning normally. But a berm or levee protecting the Fort Calhoun plant from floodwaters collapsed today. Officials say the plant was shut down two months ago for refueling and that there is no danger. They have what may be the world's most dangerous and anonymous jobs. We're talking about the nearly 2,000 workers who are trying to clean up Japan's crippled nuclear power plant. While their motives vary, for some, the job is a highly personal mission. Lucy Kraft has their story. The streets are eerily quiet. The usual tourists are gone. In their place, about half the workforce of Fukushima Daiichi. This is the town of Yumoto, about 25 miles away from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Now, Yumoto has always been known as a sleepy resort town, but now it's home away from home for workers battling the world's worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. Men like truck driver Rune Oriyoshi. A divorced father of two, he left the safety of his home in southern Japan for a six-month stint at Fukushima Daiichi, $150 a day. I'm not proud of the way I've lived, so I'm trying to be better. Buses pick the men up at 6.45 a.m., then a one-hour ride in sweltering heat to the nuclear plant. Adiyoshi is part of a team that sorts radioactive garbage at Fukushima Daiichi. He says, when I started here, I was really scared. I still am. Three to four hours, that's the limit. It's not just the radioactivity, it's so hot you wouldn't last any longer than that. His co-worker is Isao Toda, a computer programmer by trade. Toda had just quit his job when he spotted a help wanted ad for Fukushima. The work has been grueling. It's hard to breathe with the mask on, he says. Whether your nose is running or you're itchy, you can't take it off, no matter what. Toda's parents survived Japan's other radiation catastrophe, the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. Since I was a child, my parents told me all about the hell they endured, he says. We are much better protected than they were. Whatever their backgrounds, many of the men are here for the same reason, to lend a hand in Japan's darkest hour. Lucy Kraft, CBS News, Yumoto, Japan.